Hello everyone, my name is Nomus and welcome back to another episode of Product Zomboid. Picked up here shortly after our last episode. Apologies for the uh, delay in content. I was out sick there for a bit, but we are back today with Darren Lively. Uh, we are... I just gotta be careful here. I, um, just before I started recording, I was clearing out uh, these homes in this area we stopped off at the end of the last episode. I noticed there was a sizable group or it looks like a sizable group behind that house. And yes, yeah, someone's seen us. Uh, once we take care of this, uh, we will take a look on the map, just as a refresher on where we are. We left the base last time out uh, for the helicopter event, so we wouldn't have a repeat of last time, and wouldn't have to rebuild <laughs> a third of the base over again. Yeah, let's actually just hop back inside here for a brief moment while we open up the map. So, we came down, Left our base, out of Louisville. Um, actually, we went down just the main road here uh, and did a kind of a circuit through the exclusion zone, passing through uh, the abandoned uh, town down here. Uh, hit up a couple uh, checkpoints, uh, military checkpoints. Um, this one here, as well as... There was a tower here. Wasn't there another one back over here somewhere? Anyway, we made our way through there, came up through here, and we're now currently right up here. We've taken a look at these uh, warehouses here. Uh, they've got um, uh, rotten vegetables we could come back for. So uh, I might make a note of that. Because so I'm fairly certain they had rotten vegetables. Um, it has been about... At least four days since I've last recorded, so. Yeah, a long time in, in between uh, Zomboid content for this series. Uh, I think our longest for this series so far. Uh, hopefully we won't have another big break like that. But today, uh, what I want to do is... Uh, let me get rid of that. Uh, continue searching this general area. In here. So we got uh, a fair few number of buildings around here. Uh, most of them look like homes. Uh, some very small units here. Uh, this kind of looks interesting to me here. Uh, but I do also want to check down uh, in this area. And you know what? We might, we might poke our head up here as well. We'll see what we can accomplish today. Um, the trailer is pretty much full. Uh, I did go back and pick up a backpack that I had mistakenly thrown on the ground, thanks to a, uh, a viewer who caught that. So we got both of our backpacks uh, in here. We got 97.3 out of 100. Uh, so we could put a couple loose things there. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much full. We've got some room in our trunk. And then seat-wise, we're pretty full too. So it's not a whole lot more we can loot. But it would be cool to check out uh, some of these locations. Uh, but having said that, we're probably not going to get to those spots over there. At the very least. Okay, so I have taken a look at the house just north of us. Here, Here's that group I was uh, mentioning before. I had noticed prior without the spear. It's got a little bit of durability left. Oh, and look at that. It's another uh, survivor. I guess that's why it's such a large group. So I guess we could have one more bag we could fill up. Where'd he go? One more bag here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's take that. Always just equip that secondary uh, for our final bag. We're about ready to head home. Yeah, so I checked the house up here. We gotta check this house. And I think that's it for this grouping. Yeah, there's a one further up the road. So we'll probably circle back down this road. Check these out. Uh, check that. That one. Then we'll circle back, uh, maybe down here, hit those up, and then back up here, take a look at these, 
Circle back down. Oh, God. <laughs> Zombie. All right, we need to be inside, our, uh, inside a house or inside a car when we uh, check our map. Let's not make any stupid mistakes. But yeah, general plan. <laughs> we don't need to worry too much about logistics. We'll figure it out like we always do. Come on, open up the, open up the window there, Darren. The master window opener. Come through. You crawler? Uh, just a dumb zombie. Not enough sense to know that the window is open. This be a lot of tomato paste in the world. I had no idea Kentuckians love their tomato paste so much. Alright, it's the back door. A plunger. The mighty plunger. Suit pants. Okay, this place is good. Mark that off. And let me just make a little uh, note about those places. I mean, I'm sure I can put two and two together. The rotten vegetables were there. Okay. So we're good here. Let's hop in the car. Uh, we do need a little bit of food. So the stuff we've picked up. Oh, we have all these chips. Let's eat those. Oh, and I do have this still. Should not forget to eat that. We could always uh, dump this generator if need be. That's not super important for us. We want extra space for that uh, new bag we just found. Okay, so I think I want to go down here, right? Yeah. Let's finish that cigarette. We use the spear on this group. Whatever's left of it. Wasn't very much. That spear. I think that's lots of our makeshift spears. Crafted spears. Come across planks. Can make some more, but I don't think I'll go out of my way to make any right now. Polonaise, sure thing. I have a feeling we're gonna dump that uh, generator. The backpack's almost full as is right now. This guy is good. Well, let's do that right now. I guess it's in the, uh, can I reach the back seat from here? I don't think so. Just the front seat, yeah. that. There. Some survivor gets a uh, free generator out here. Congratulations. 
let's get this new bag out. It's gonna empty off. We got it in our backpack right now. Add it to the sardines. And take that with us. Okay, how far across? Maybe it's quicker for us to just... I don't know, we gotta drive over there for this house over there anyway, so... Um, but I could probably check this house. Let's just run over there. Instead of taking the car out. Oh, and I should grab something from my back. One of these axes. Yeah, let's take that. Just in case we get something hairy. Yeah, super close. Looking here first. Mask. Locked up tight. Super. All right. Let's go. That might change our plans a bit. We're not that far outside of the um, outskirts of Louisville. All right, come on, car, start up. Let's go. Let's go. Um, you know what? We're scratching that plan. We are gonna go straight to the road out here. Yep. Oh, this is the corn maze. Okay. Or the fairgrounds. Oh, what does that guy have? Oh no. Yeah, it's like a lacrosse stick. I thought it was a katana. I got super excited. Alright, let me just uh, quickly mark that with that. And, okay, we are, yeah, completely changing plans for today. We are skipping the fairgrounds. And we're heading back in. This stuff will have to be searched another time. Car alarms, house alarms. The variety and spice of life in the apocalypse. Looking forward to the uh, the final polish patch of Build 41. They have indicated that one of the new features or mechanics that they'll be adding in. Groups of zombies bumping up against cars have a chance to set off alarms. Won't that be fun? Yeah, alright, this is ours. So prior to build 42, we're going to see a lot more car alarms out in the world. Alright, so do we change the plans, change the plans. Do we want to do anything over here? You know what, maybe we just clear some zombies in this general area. Prep for a um, entrance into that gun store. Won't be able to do it until we have a sledgehammer with us, but... We'll start clearing out some. 
Save us some work when we actually do come down. Pretty big group. Getting exhausted. I'm going to be able to actually lose zombies in a new area like this. But attracting more. Well, maybe I can though. Never mind. <laughs> we did that all right. a bench up here too. Rest on that bench. Okay, that worked out uh, a lot better than I thought it was going to work out. I was like, ah, oh, there's going to be a bunch back here. There's going to be a bunch by the gas station. We'll probably just have to get back in the car and drive away. But we lucked out. Gas station was uh, only a handful. Uh, I'm a little hesitant to actually sit down though. Especially since this bench is around the corner of the building. Just hang here for a moment. We'll try to get inside this uh, grocery store, though. Because we are hungry. Oh no, I should go back to the car and we should eat the rest of that stir-fry before it goes bad. It was no longer fresh, so... Let's give it another little bit here. As much energy back as we can. There we go. Yeah, let's eat our leftovers. All right, so there's the gun store, the hunting store. The AA Ron hunting supplies. I'll forget our bag. Yeah, let's pick that up. That. That's the frying pan in the trailer. Okay, and why don't we start just going through buildings here? Is unlocked. There we go. 
Candy! Our favorites! It's turning really into one of Darren's favorite apocalyptic pastimes. Raiding candy stores. He's always had a good stash of candy in his cars. Oh, I should probably be bringing the uh, loot bag for this. Instead of throwing in our backpack, since we're going to empty the backpack out anyway. Alright. That one's got a hand axe. Mind grabbing that. Okay. Let's continue here. Oh yeah, there we go. More tea. Cooking. Oh, the um, chocolate covered coffee beans. That actually helps with fatigue as well. Which is pretty cool. Chips on us. Still picked up all this rotten cheese. In anticipation for our next level of cooking when we'll hopefully be able to use it in uh, recipes for like making pizza. Same with the eggs. Nice. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of yeast in our travels. It's nice to find a couple stacks. Means we can make more bread. Means more rabbit burgers. Should be a storeroom in the back as well. That's fruits. I wonder if I'll add more canned fruits. Oh, looks like they have like a uh, fruit cocktail, peaches, and pineapple right now. Right, uh, that is almost full. Move a few more things over. Another box of cereal. Add to our collection of cereal up on the roof. Our bird trapping. That's pretty full. How are these guys making out? Zombies in here? No, there's one. Uh, it doesn't look that full, really, for loot in here. But we'll still check it out regardless. We're able to. Um, yeah, I guess bright white's not as important. Let's say, uh, bakery. I remember what that place is called. Alright, let's um, drop this off. We 
They don't really have a lot, a lot of extra space. Maybe we should just go back. But let's just go back. We're getting drowsy as well. Aaron was up at like 2.30. So we cleared some. Not a whole lot. Oh, we did... Uh, I have enough time to, <laughs> to clear that off. Uh, we'll mark it off later. Should have marked that store off when we we're finished with it. All right, now the windy road back to base. Kind of wish there was a more direct way we could get there. I mean, our route isn't that bad, but the, the annoying part is mo mainly the um, the car wrecks. And that is a uh, an easy fix. I mean, just gotta tow them away. Uh, this gated neighborhood, that's gonna be a big stopover for us at some point. Lots of garages. Should be lots of... Uh, Maybe not lots, but it should be hopefully a few barricaded homes. Always forget which turn we need. It's one at the very end. Okay, well I'm gonna make this drive back and uh, we'll probably cut back unless something dramatic happens. We'll probably cut back uh, once everything's been dropped off. And we'll figure out next steps for the episode since we had uh, kind of a big change of plans with that house alarm. Okay, it is the next day, 12.40 uh, p.m., January 21st, 5 degrees inside. Finished dropping off everything just before 1 a.m. Um, I actually had to uh, put down those military crates that we grabbed. It's a good thing we grabbed those. So I put them down in the garage, and I'm using one as an overflow for ammunition. We have a lot of ammo. We've completely filled up this crate. Completely filled up that crate. This crate's almost full. Or getting there, as far as our magazines and attachments go. Of course, our uh, actual weapons, actual firearms. About one of everything. Uh, but yeah, everything's been dropped off. Uh, the kitchen's looking well stocked. We got lots of. Uh, cooking ingredients. We should be able to uh, stay fed for quite a long time with a variety of of meals. Uh, speaking of meals, we've got our pre-cooked meals in the fridge here. Um, what do we want to have? Let's take our rabbit and vegetable roast with tomato paste. Everything's going to be with tomato paste. <laughs> the most common... Uh, cooking ingredient it has turned out to be All right, so let's chow down on that Weight wise we're still 78 dropping So we'll uh, Keep the rest of this on us for later uh, When we got back the uh, generator actually was out uh, items were still frozen uh, they were about 30% still frozen, so it's a good thing we came back when we did. Uh, so I put some more gas in there. Um, only 80%, one gas can. We really need to find some more gas cans. Uh, we got to keep that in the back of our mind. And uh, what else do we need to do? We need to get a bed. We need to obviously uh, replace the, the tent in our bedroom here. So I think maybe that's our, our top goal, is uh, getting our bed. First and foremost. Oh no, maybe first goal. Let's, uh, before we forget again, let's take our sledgehammer. Let's just throw that in the back of the car. So next time we are down by that gun store, we can take care of that. Oh, I have put a, uh, all of our metalworking um, pieces that we got from the couple cars we scrapped uh, on our trip in the last episode. I uh, started to put that in this crate here. 
There's our plaster bags. We'll continue to collect those. Uh, I've got more. Actually, you know let's do this right now. I've got more uh, sacks of rotten veg here to put into the compost. Then we'll go grab a bag, uh, bed, and we'll see what other shenanigans we can get into. Four sacks of rotten tomatoes. Our little composter should be doing pretty good here. 25% full right now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Always making our trip back down to those warehouses, grab some more rotten vegetables. These sacks of uh, vegetables, super handy for this. Super, super handy. All right, there we go. Been a, a great addition to the game. Hey, right, got lots of empty sacks. I uh, put our one thing of fertilizer just in our trough here. It kind of fits nicely. How is this doing for water? 254. Okay. I don't think we need to plant anything right now. We might just wait until spring. I mean, we're almost at the end of January. Just got one more month to get through. And we should start seeing some rain again. Oh, uh, we should also repair our hood, because this thing is beat the hell up, if it's even there. Yeah, 20%. Okay, let's do some quick repairs. Oh, actually, I don't need to go back in. I've got stuff in the back. I don't know if I actually need my welding mask, do I? Don't actually need my welding mask. Okay. So it repairs 61% now. Uh, repairing it again will repair 51%. So it looks like it's going down 10% each successive repair we do. That's fine. I'm fine with that. All those waters in our backpack. Oh. I guess I got stuff in my backpack I didn't drop off. What do I have in here? That down. Oh, the sledgehammer, yes. Let's throw that in here. better. Okay, good. Okay, let's go get ourselves a bed. Mm -hmm. Where to go? We got our last one from down here. Let's check this building. So, up, over, end of the block. Instead of we uh, keep going back to the same buildings, let's check something new. You know what? Hold on. It's taking us forever to get out of here, but we might as well bait our traps on the roof. The ones that are remaining. Like we need the food, but since we're not growing crops, might as well be doing something. The water situation here, 297. Uh, 
Look, it's full. That's full. Okay, we got lots of room in the bedroom. Or lots of water in the bedroom. 63, yeah. No, no shortage of water at base. It's a good call having three on the roof though. Let's go. Any zombies along the way will clear them out. Saw one more. Be a bad idea to have like a uh, cot in storage at the base. An emergency backup just in case. It's been a while since we came out this way. I wonder if I'll ever make the uh, light posts with a hitbox. A solid object. So you can crash your car into him. So we could go to the junkyard too to uh, dismantle cars. Be a worthwhile project at some point. Ooh. Okay, this may not be what I expected it to be. Is that a construction site? That is a construction site. Okay. So we'll be getting a, a bed from there. Okay, uh, let's check that apartment building. We got the Knox radio station. I know we wanted to check that out before the helicopter came. Let's grab the bed and then we'll head back to the uh, radio station. Uh, we're going to start collecting watches again. Until so we've read that uh, next electrical book. Well, we might as well clear this parking lot since we're 
So we're here. It's a big underground parkade. Not jam packed though, which is good. Darren should be able to make quick work of this. If he hasn't already, I think he may have. Okay. Else in there. Up we go. Oh, geez. <laughs> It's tight always. <laughs> These elevator banks. They're gonna come in into play at some point. Well, I have never been in this building. Is that a stash? Land furniture. We're looking for a uh, single bed. Of course. Big room though. Uh, bunk bed. Uh, Dr. Oid's poster. Of course, we need that. Case. Oh, I kind of like the, uh, the layout. A spacious layout. But, um, I don't know. Pretty, uh, pretty bland overall, though. What else are we carrying here that's so heavy? Why are we so full already? Okay, so, uh, I think we'll be able to find a bed. Hopefully not all the rooms, all the kids' rooms will have bunk beds. Just gotta check a few more places. And we might actually end up sleeping here tonight. It's already 7.20. We're not gonna start, uh... I'm not going to find the bed and go start the uh, radio station at night. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, let's pick one of these up. As it's good quality. All right, let's haul this down. It's completely pitch black. A 
probably would have been good to actually pull the car in here. What's garage door? The fury of Darren's hammer. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just go back in. We're gonna sleep here. It's not tired yet, but. Sleeping in an unknown spot. Clear this place where you can sleep here. You can treat yourself by sleeping on a king size bed. Uh, okay, I'm gonna kill a few hours here and then uh, we'll cut back in the morning. No, oh, that went pretty smoothly. Finished off the uh, roast last night. Let's head over to the radio uh, station. Check that place out. All right, here we are. Let's see what we can find in here. Now, this is another, what I'm assuming is a large building. Oh, I can see the roof there, so it's just a big foyer. Now that part of the building, I'm not sure how many stories it goes up, so there could be a lot of zombies in here. Get the axe out. So the uh, entrance looks pretty quiet. Not to make too much noise. Pretty empty. Bathroom. Yeah, let's skip that. Don't want to alert those ones. Oh, okay, this is the park. Okay. Right, we'll take care of this. Alright, that one was uh, <laughs> very quick and easy. All right, we can start going upstairs. Rather not attract ones from outside if we don't need to. Yeah, that's just office. I'm assuming there's gonna be computers and uh, security terminals, that kind of thing. Could be uh, disassembled. We get our next electrical red. I think we actually have a box of screws. Let's take that. Rotten frosted donut. So sad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. stuff here. Oh, microphone stand. Oh, and I, oh, I was like, that's a desktop microphone. No, it's just uh, the ham radio, which we've seen many times before. Now, I don't 
think. Oh, I can pick up the standing microphone. Oh, yes. Yes, we can. All right. Why we need that? Who knows? Because it looks cool. Blue. Oh, this looks cool. Yeah. Oh, you can take it. Ah. Serosec terminal. 35 weight. And move through it. Oh, I guess it's by a window. Okay, that makes sense. As soon as I walked through it, I got a little disappointed because I thought it wasn't actually an object, but it's by a window. Okay, yeah, I definitely want one of those. Not two of them. 35, though, that's pretty heavy. Let's clear out the rest of the place first. I want to check some filing cabinets. I mean, what are the chances that magazines we want would spawn in a radio station? It would make sense. Logically, it would make sense. I know uh, there's been a lot of comments on this video and uh, on the streams that uh, best place to find those Gorilla Radio magazines. Most likely gonna be in radio vans. Okay, well, uh, this was a very empty location zombie-wise. I was expecting a lot more resistance. So, I do want some of these pieces. Let's grab these ones, at least one of them. So that required electrical three. The wall monitors. Yeah, those would be cool too. Let's take this one down. Yeah, not as exciting of a location uh, action wise, but some cool pieces with the uh, microphone and this zero sec terminal. Drop that off in here too. Now, having just said that, it sounds like things may be picking up here. Come to that lunchroom, I bet. No? Where'd they come through? South side? Where the hell that came from? Okay, um... You know what, that's good for right now. We, we can always come back here for more... Uh, electric, um... Electrical related furniture pieces. So... We'll just make a note here. Radio stuff. 
what else we want to check out here? We got, I think, time for one more, one more stopover. I mean, we've hit, I think, all the stores in this area now. All the um, shop areas. Maybe not this here. Let's check that off. And then it's pretty much just residential. One's left. Knox talk. It's pretty much right behind us. Stores back there, so yeah, let's check this out. Better furnishing. Oh, maybe we can find something else in here. Or did we come through here at night? We may have come through here at night. Yeah, I still can't pick these ones up. So, uh, a viewer had um, made mention that uh, they thought you could pick these things up because you just need a crowbar, but what it's actually even though you can see in the tooltip um, half of the, the baby crib, what it's actually um, picking up is the great smooth tiles with crowbar. Same with this. So you're not actually you're not actually picking up the uh, the lamp or the, the crib. You're picking up the uh, the floor tiles. So yeah, these these items, these new items, not actually items, just textures right now. Right, yeah, we have been here. Sauce, or was the hot sauce? Grab that. Maybe we'll have time for one more spot. There's anything beside us, is there? No. No. Right. Yeah. That might actually do it then. Um kind of searching around for somewhere else interesting to take a look at, but you know, aside from that building down there, that's kind of the next closest store. That's a, that's a pretty large point of interest right there, so that might be best left for another episode. I think in the following episode, we should go back to the storage units. Figure that out. And we can safely say we've kind of done everything in our our neck of the woods here, and we can start pushing probably into downtown. And, uh, you know, we can always pick off some of these homes every once in a while when we're in the mood. But yeah, I think downtown is uh, on the horizon. A lot of interesting content <laughs> down here. I guarantee you that. Alright, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for coming back. Um, Apologies again for the uh, delay in between episodes there. Hopefully we won't have that again. But uh, yeah, let me know your comments, as always. I'll try and get to them uh, if I'm able to. I read them all, and I'll, uh, I'll try to respond to, uh, to them when I can. And yeah, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Check us out over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.